To finish the season for the JV1 boys soccer team, the Fairchester Athletic Association, which Masters competes in athletically on Saturday, November 6th, is currently holding a one-day tournament. For boys soccer, the FA is made up of eight teams, but for tournament purposes, the teams have been split into two brackets of four. The winner of each division plays each other in the final. Each team will play the other three teams in their division once, three points for a win, one point for a tie, and nothing for a loss. The team with the highest amount of accumulated points wins and goes to the final. All right, I'm with here, Captain Zahali of JV1 team. Um, what work have you guys done this year to make you prepared for um, a tournament like this? I would say I'm practicing, you know, a lot. You know, we've been working hard every day, you know, practicing on Clark, turf, whatever, just putting 100% every day, and now we're ready for the tournament. The first game was an automatic win as the opposing team had forfeited by not showing up. This means that the other three teams in the division get automatic wins too. Right early on a Saturday, how are you feeling? Really good. We're going to win. We're going to win. Um, so you got the forfeited win because St. Luke's or because King did not show up. Um, how does that change your outlook looking forward? In the Wouldn't tournament? have mattered. Still Wouldn't would have won. Still would have won. I like that energy. In a tight game against St. Luke's, Masters pulled through with a 1-0 win. The goal by sophomore William Montgomery ended up being the determining factor in the game, which led to a matchup versus RCDS for a trip to the championship game. All right, so I'm with here with Will Montgomery, the goal scorer. How did it feel? Uh, great goal, great performance by the team, and really important to get the win. So you guys are playing RCDS now. Um, you guys are currently 2-0. and How does it feel going? How are you, how are you feeling going into the, to uh, the final game? This is going to be the toughest game. We already lost them twice in the regular season, so can't let that happen three times in a row. So we got to come out on top on this one. In this close contest against RCDS, ending in a score of 0-0 in regular time, the game went to penalties to decide who goes to the final. Masters advanced to the final matchup with Hopkins. The Connecticut-based team ended up outmatching Masters, but the Panthers did not fall without a fight. The goal by William Montgomery ended up just being a consolation in the 3-1 defeat. What has this tournament meant for you? Uh, it was a really good way to end our season. Uh, we really tried, really gave it our all. It was really fun. Uh, we, hope to, we hope to be back next year. Noah Cassell-Young, TBN, The Master School.